Hello everybody, welcome to AeroBB quarterfinals. Um, you can see the draw there on the screen. We've got PK83 versus Riley Okolnami, which is, I will be playing the winner of this game. Uh, PK83 from Division 1 with a very, very nice Necro team. Very nice Necro team, actually. A bit basic, but very nice. Um, up against Riley Okolnami with a very nice Kemri team, actually. Flip me. Uh, Riley Konami from Division 5. And yeah, whoa, I'm actually... I don't know who to cheer for. These these are both horrible. These are absolutely both horrible um, teams to face. Riley Konami has a... I'll call him Riley from now on. Riley has a Babe and Setek who goes on the LOS. I'm not sure about that. Um... And yeah, look at these four. He's got no block to me, but they've all got Mighty Blow Guard. There's a couple of Stand Firm. He's got a Tackle Pommer, Tackle Mighty, another Tackle. So three Tackle on this team and a Dirty Player. So that's that's wouldn't be nice for me to face. Um, meanwhile, the Necro have got a Tackle Mighty. Wait, is that a Tackle Fleshy? Shut up. He's got a Tackle Fleshy. <laughs> a Tackle Mighty White. So I'm not happy about either of those. A Rackle Jump Up Strip. Okay. And then two move nine wolves. One with Blodge Step, one with Strength 4. So like, pretty nice wolves. Actually, so yeah, this, this Fleshy isn't quite as good. Only block. And this white only guard, so he hasn't got you know he hasn't got a pommer at all. Um, oh, and this one's movement five. So his tackle is a movement four and five, and very fragile. So I'm guessing, you know, leaving coaching out of it on teams, maybe the Kemri or the scarier team. But then you know these wolves are amazing, right, and very hard to deal with. So it's going to be tough, whatever it is. Hello, Hancock. <laughs> yes, Pedro, yep. Yeah, did uh, did win the playoff game in the end. I was pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. Rather be coming in this game, yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't care about that. I care about who I'm facing in the next round. <laughs> it's pretty wild that the Camry have, have Setek on top, right? The thing is, the thing is with Camry is... They're a bit crap, aren't they? <laughs> you know? <laughs> the thing about Kemri is, they're a bit crap. And like, when you look at them, right, they always look amazing on paper. Like, you know, you look at this team, you, you know, like like Hancock's, like Hancock probably had the best Kemri team, right, in Chalice, one time. Still remember that team, it was unbelievable. It was like four, four block guard mighty, um, Toomies and stuff, and it looked absolutely terrifying on paper, but you know, and they are pretty terrifying on defense, but they just can't do a lot, can they? They just can't, you know, like they can, nobody on their team can dodge. So if things get a little bit dodgy, they're just suddenly up shit creek without a paddle. Oh wow, if this is a push, this wolf is in trouble. Oh, it's a pal. He's still in trouble. He's going to have to dodge away. Classic wolf dodge. <laughs> Classic wolf blitz and dodge. <laughs> oh, dear me. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Flippin' necro. But yeah, he's got three. He's got three flat. He's got three tombies on one side. So obviously, you just go up the other side. Not rocket science, is it? And he's got, and you know, the the Necro have got three guard and the strength four wolf. So that's pretty decent. The uh, the Kemri are kind of guard like right? They've only got four. So all they've got is the fleshies, but not fleshies. The tombies. Me. 
so he's going to get the mine. Doesn't get the pom blitz. Maybe should have kept his pom as central. Nope. Dodging? Oh, wow. Oh, I don't like that. Puts in a reroll? Was this a misclick? I despise that move. <laughs> he hasn't got to hit these guys or anything, has he? That was surely a misclick. Had to be. It had to be, because he didn't get to hit these. Oh, wow. Is that a greed reroll to get the power? Obviously, tackle Pommer. But the ta oh, the ta that's, this is rowdy as fuck. He's getting to tackle Pommer's uh, ghoul now. Flip me, so yeah, he gets the push there, so that stops the two me from just blitzing the wolf and then getting tackle on. So he, he definitely tackle pom. Well, either right, you could tackle pom the wolf. I don't know why. I thought you can tackle pom me. You just tackle pom the wolf is better than the ghoul, isn't it? For some reason, I thought the wolf was here, but he's not. The wolf's exposed as well. No, oh, that's a nice little chain, isn't it, to tag him? Now we we remember to make the <laughs> the Toomey block. The problem with this is it's not doing a whole lot by itself, is it? Maybe this guy should have gone there. I guess he can go there. You can go on there, yeah, yeah, okay, not terrible. I mean, you have to pom the wolf, right? You just have to pom the wolf. Like, 100% have to. <laughs> Gets the pal. Piles on. Kazes him. Does Kaz him? <laughs> He regens though. The ghoul wouldn't have regened, funnily enough, so maybe he should have gone for the ghoul. But, um, I mean, you, you've got to hit the wolf there. Like, you just have to, right? You just have to. It's basically your duty as a as a Blood Bowl coach. You just have to do it. I'm surprised he doesn't uh, follow there 100%, right? Follow there 100%. That's great. You're tagging out two guys. He can only uphill you. I don't understand why he wouldn't follow there. Misclick, maybe? Like, that surely has to be a follow. Has to be. I guess PK is going to just score now, right? Because it gets you the wolf back. And, like, you can't cage or anything now pretty much could run back I guess but he goes in scores in the centre square very good professional I will always love Goo pretty good pretty good name so yeah gets gets his wolf back but very quick score wasn't it you know good defence from the uh from the Camry. But now we have the Camry problem. He's got two offensive drives. One is five turns, the other is eight turns. And will he be able to get the score in either drive? <laughs> Maybe not. Don't don't uh Camry get like J Eolice. Do they get him? I'm pretty sure they do, right? Or something like that. I remember I remember uh Remember Rick taking it on Kemri. Not a bad idea, honestly, because Kemri are just like so immobile. Even though he's a rubbish star, and everybody laughed at Rick for doing it. Like he solves the biggest problem, which is 
not being able to ever... Nobody on your entire team can ever dodge. <laughs> Which is a bit rubbish. Just quietly. Great if everything goes well, right? If they roll well, play well, opponent doesn't really come up with anything good, then they, uh, you know, if there's a lack of adversity, Kemri are awesome, but once they hit a bit of adversity, they're just a bit shit. Oh, okay. I'm not a fan of Rylia's push directions and follow directions, follow decisions rather. Oh god, with two rerolls, you really don't want to be blitzing with a guy who doesn't have block. You've got guys with block right here. You need to blitz with block. Yeah, Pomo just stands there doing nothing. That's a bit fair, right? Because he's got three dices without block. But he should have been blitzing with block. You know, and he wouldn't have used the reroll, right? Okay, he'd have been exposed, but he wouldn't have used the reroll. Gets the pickup. Not going for a wolf blitz. Maybe picking off the dirty player with a wolf. I mean, when I say not going for the wolf, not going for this wolf blitz. Just going to screen. Just going to screen. Yeah, you're going to try and pick this guy off. Hello, Baron Bucky. Yeah, this is the this is the air of BB playoffs. Yep. Oh, do you mean lack of pack? Do you mean PO isn't piling on? He's, he's got a piling on guy and he didn't he didn't hit with him. So now the piling on guy has to blitz this guy. Okay, I hate this. He's got Juggernaut, hasn't he? Setek. So he gets to push him, but I don't care about pushing him. I want to pawn this guy and push down here. But it's hard, right? It's really hard. It's really hard. Really hard now for Riley because he's got no... Well, one re-roll. Hasn't got a great team. Like, hasn't got a great team at doing things. But he should be getting in, right? All of the all of the two me should be in base contact this turn. He should have GFI'd even with this one to get... The, all of the two me's need to be up. Moving forward. Cage all around here. Trying to push forward and do stuff. Yeah, it is Baron Bucky, it is. It's it's tragic. It's tragic how much easier on the eyes and easier on the clicks it is. Oh so I so I I hate a lot about this turn from Riley. He's basically just trying to win one nil, right? Trying to lose this half one nil. He's not even trying to score. He's just trying to not get turned over essentially, not get beaten up by the wolves. There's absolutely zero ambition letting these two guys up, not blitzing him with ta with Pom even. Like this could have been a really a really strong push over here, and instead it's a stand here, and not, don't don't go down two nil kind of play. I don't think there's a need to play that defensive. Maybe if he was playing my Dark Elves or Hancock's High Elves or all the odds Woodies, maybe that kind of approach would be best. But I think in this game. Um, it's not. He doesn't. He does induce the wolf dodge blitz though. The classic wolf dodge blitz. This time he makes the three plus. <laughs> yep, that's true. That's true, Rando. He should still be. He should still be trying to tackle Pom. Yep. Instead, he's just like, I've got Juggernaut. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna punch your sidestep because I've got Juggernaut. Look, I use my skill. <laughs> But really, the skill he should be using is piling on. <laughs> um, dirty player. Um, 
Hello, Krista. Thank you for the raid. JQQ. Oh. So he's got a bit of a push here, but it's, it's unlikely to be good enough, right? Because he just didn't he didn't get the space last turn, so now he's trying now he's forced himself down a sideline. After letting these two guys up last turn. If you you know, you just you should not have let these two guys up, base them with something. So that these two are over here still. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I thought the piling on removal was good, yeah. I always thought it was a stupid game. A stupid game. I always thought it was a stupid skill. Fluff-wise anyway, right? All these people who wanted to... Oh, I'll, mm, I wonder if... No, yeah, you've, you've got a stand for A fumble streaming master. Man, I keep thinking I want. I, I keep wanting to do a BBT run, but maybe one day. Wow, rerolls! Last reroll to to Wolf Dodge Blitz. <laughs> cheeky little, cheeky little cars. See, this is the thing, right? If they had like ghouls instead of throw Raz, then all of a sudden you block here, block here, blitz there, and you run away and you, you're you pretty good, right? But you can't do that. I mean, first of all, it's hard to do that versus wolves anyway, even if you were undead, but like, what do can we do? Just lose. <laughs> Just lose. But yeah, severe, severe lack of ambition from Riley of this drive. This, you know, he he had a play up the right side a little bit. Didn't use his palm on the on turn one at all. Just didn't didn't have anywhere near enough urgency to like use his use his uh, Toomey's. Okay, you're exposing the strength for claw frenzy, right? Probably, maybe depends how it depends where you put them. But I think you've got to do it. Right? I think you've got to try and score. I think you've got to try to score. Is he? <laughs> Wolf frenzy trap dodge blitz. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, justice. Oh, I didn't die. That would have been the best. That would have been the best. <laughs> That would have been the absolute best possible result. Oh, that's grab, not break tackle. I thought he had break tackle on the... On the... This is... Yeah, that's... That's... Grab, isn't it? Oh, I don't like that. I mean, you've got to go break tackle, right? He's moving four. You can actually do some things. Plus, then he becomes a player on your team who can actually dodge. I mean, the piling on skill cap is pretty low. It's, do you have pile on? Yes. Then pile on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to it. Um. <laughs> no, no, some people do fail at that. <laughs> it's about how simple it is. I didn't pile on at all in my last game, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, you can turn that off, Render, but oh my god, it, there was such a laugh when, when Blood Bowl won. 
just autopilot. Like eventually, I don't. I think eventually it took them like till legendary edition to to give you the to give you the toggle off. Before then, it was just autopilot every time. Yeah, protecting the bomber and then getting the hits and everything. There is a bit of counterplay to it. Well, there's no real counterplay with the fouling, right? I think I think fouling. I think the fouling meta is worse. I think the fouling meta is worse. Eventually, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't at first, though. In Aryan, right? Like, they needed people like you to tell them to make things. Oh my God! Instant one in nine. You you can't. You can't two dice block straight forward with mummies. Fuck me. Was it okay? Well, I was misinformed then. This is why I don't. Shouldn't never listen to anybody else. Oh my God. Oh my God. You've got to block with this guy across. Block with two dice block. You can't two dice block with a mummy, man. you got to three dice block with a mummy. Two dice block with block guys. So this reroll should never have been used there. And again, he's like, aha, I can, I can use Juggernaut. But really, what he should have done was come in, hit this, smack this guy with Mighty Blow, right? You can't pile on because he'll foul you. But you can hit him with pile. You can hit him with a pile one guy. This is really weird. <laughs> oh, in a patch. In a patch. There you go. Right, so it wasn't at first then. Good. 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 So whoever told me that was correct then. Good. Um. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 not kept them on the he's not kept them on the line. He's not like you know putting somewhere like he could have put in a guy here, right, and then blitz this guy, and then he would have kept them both occupied, stuff like that. But then he would have opened them to a wolf blitz. It's hard, right? It is hard versus wolves because you don't want to let them just pick people off. You know, like you can just pick this guy off now on the end, can't he? Stuff like that. You don't want to let you don't want to let them pick off your uh, toomies. Rather pushed him there, so he was tagged out by the uh, zombie. But never mind, break AV, no problem. At least the uh, Camry got the ball, so this uh, pressure isn't too scary for the Chems. They can move people back. <laughs> indeed or don't indeed so it wasn't it was a patch before legend edition so there you go so it was like inarian te inarian telling them how to fix it right <laughs> it was inarian telling them how to fix it pounds the wolf he gets the stun I was pretty lucky wait what I'm sorry, is this thrower on movement two? <laughs> I don't like I don't like staying back here. I wanna move him up. I wanna I wanna, you know, like put the put the flat put the to me here. Move up into here. Pull him back, make a cage. Get him around. You could have caged this. Like, staying out of range of this guy is not the way. Which I'm not even sure he is out of range. He's not out of range. He's literally not even out of range. This wolf can just run directly through and hit him. Which it might. I would, wouldn't you? We can pause it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. GFI, GFI. No dodges required. Just a direct line to the ball carrier. Oof. Oof. Got a cage of that ball. Doesn't he just hits him? Well, the ghoul isn't a direct way, right? The ghoul's got to. Uh, ghoul would have to fall three or something, or you'd have to uphill. One do. Oh! Ah! Okay. 
Okay. So yeah, this is this is uh, had to get up. He had to get upfield. He had to reconnect. Pull, pull, pull as much as he could back. Push as far forward as he could. Get a cage like around he here, somewhere. Like he, I mean, here if he hadn't done that blitz. Once he's done that blitz, he's got a cage there. You could have just not blitzed and, and caged here or whatever. But um, there is only the one tag and cast him. <laughs> Well, not cast him, removed him. Sorry. Again, you have to probably go up the field. It's harder now, but you have to go up the field because these wolves will just get you. The wolves will just get you. You have to go up the field. <laughs> you have to go up the field. You have to connect to the rest of your team. That's the problem, right? Isolated can be are, are useless, but he's getting you know getting the removals. To be fair. Oh, <laughs> removed his <laughs> removed his own his own blitzer, trying to make a dodge. <laughs> classic, classic Camry. Trying to make a dodge, die. He's going back with him to to get the guard in. Okay. Yeah, it's not Chalice, right? It's not Chalice. It's not. It's not the money playoffs. It's just uh, yeah, and honestly, Necro snowball more than anything, right? More than any other race, because. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're the kind of person who frenzy trap wolf dodges, you have to be careful with your wolves. But then once your players up, you get to tee off with them, right? So, so like they're amazing front runners. And then also like if you do something to try and potato away from them, then they just hunt you down with the wolves. So like they're incredible front runners, Necro. Probably the best front running team in the game, I would say. They're in Blood Bowl 3 in Aryan. Oh, Skull. P pow, he's got Tackle, it's a Pow, it's a full Pow. Should have made this block first, but then I guess it would have to be a... Need an assist somehow. Oh god, he's got a dodge. His dodge has failed. He's KO'd. And that is GG. Oof. Yeah, come on, in the game. I don't know. They might be good front runners, right? In Blood Bowl three, they might, you know, in 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 Blood Bowl twenty twenty, they might still be good front runners, right? They've got Fowlers. They don't have sneaky git dirty play very easily at all. That's that's the big problem with them, right? Unless they sacrifice a ghoul to sneaky git DP, which they probably have to, because sneaky git DP is sneaky git DP. So they probably have to sacrifice a ghoul to sneaky git DP. They've they've lost, they've lost hands off their whites, and they've lost one of their ghouls essentially. <laughs> so they've lost quite a lot from Blood Bowl 2020. Could have eaten that. Oh, he quads he just quadded anyway. <laughs> just quads into self cast. <laughs> Probably could have eaten it though, right? Like this is miles away from the ball. I guess he's thinking he doesn't need to eat it because he's got a guaranteed score next turn and he's gonna win 2 0 anyway, so just try to avoid the guy getting cast. Randor cast is why he re-rolled it. He doesn't need the remaining re-roll because he's he's basically won already. So I guess that's why he didn't re-roll it. And it was correct to not re roll it. Think to re it, re thinking about it, it was correct to re-roll, right? Because that guy could have died on a dub skull. So, he can't be touched at all, so just bang it in next turn, you tune it up and you've won, so you don't need rerolls now. No, well what I mean is Magikarp, like they lose, 
they lose a ghoul in terms of like carrying potential because he's got sneaky get dirty player yeah so like he's not such a good he's not just like a bludge an extra bludge ghoul to carry in a pinch I mean you still might have him on the pitch and he might, he might be able to be a ghoul sometimes but he's generally not being a ghoul is he generally he's being a dirty player They're, they're so expensive now. The starting team is so expensive. Necro, it takes them so long. Like, to start with three rerolls, they have to take no fleshies, which seems insane. Yeah, exactly, Magic Art. That's the problem, right? You have to have them because they're so powerful. Statistically, they're so powerful. And then, uh, <laughs> stuck in a hurricane of art. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Ah, oh, Randall Cogis here. Oh, lovely fella. And I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. <laughs> Thank you very much, and uh, thank you very much, Rando, and uh, yeah, welcome to Team Fantastic Mystery. There you go. <laughs> unlike, unlike complaining about the dice, complaining about ads actually works sometimes. <laughs> He just, he just, he just first action bezes forward. <laughs> and you don't even need to hit him, right? You can just, just move your players over. Like, I guess you could get SPP from somebody. Yeah, but he doesn't want to geofine. He definitely doesn't want to geofine in the snow. As much as he'd love to go at 12 SPP. The snow stops his GFI. Ooh, 71. Wolf getting the cast would be pretty good. But you know what if you don't power him and then you want to dodge away or whatever? I, th I think I wouldn't hit him at all. But. There's something to be said for trying to get to 71 SPP, isn't there? Maybe get man of the match. And then get a level. Sadly, doesn't even matter, does it? PK gets through without taking any uh, any attrition, just badly hurts. Sadly. Would have loved this tackle. Tackle mighty guard. Would have been great if he'd been a miss next. But, uh, he's nothing. Yeah, it just runs away. I mean, the wolf could blitz. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, no, no, sensibly, sensibly gets out of the way. And in fact, you want him to score because then you get more hits, don't you? You actually get more hits by uh, letting him score anyway. Your wolf could, if your wolf hits him, you get one hit. If you, if you let him score, then you get three hits off the other ones. Already got three dice. He's going for a going for a four dice block here. Nope, not even doing it. Wow, what a big meanie! You could have killed that. You could have killed that block guy for me. <laughs> Diced in a game I wasn't playing again. <laughs> so yeah, two, two nil is over. I've got to see the uh, got to see the pointless LOS. Honestly, pressing Q and E for the uh, for the camera is a real a real big improvement from Blood Bowl Three.
not many things are better about Blood Bowl 3, but the camera control is better, the uh, injury cutscene is better. That's about it. <laughs> Time bank is better. So some things, some things are better. What's interesting is that I hated the interface, the blocking interface in Blood Bowl 1. Oh wow, he's LOS to give him more SPP, that's sad for Jim. The armor break, no, no, like not the armor break. Yeah, the it's not as good, the armor break cutscene isn't as good. The Blood Bowl 2 one is better in terms of like the kind of speed and impact of it and stuff and the sound is all better but like the, the the injured you know like the injured and dead and everything you know and like the uh the kind of the filter they put on it that's really good the blood bowl 3 the injuries the injury cutscene in blood bowl 3 very good but yeah these are way these are way better. oh yeah the death noise in blood bowl 2 is better yeah oh the, i mean the sounds across the board in Blood Bowl 3 are terrible. <laughs> Way worse than the sound effects in Blood Bowl 2. It's like, it's amazing how much better Blood Bowl 2 is in sound. Well, he gave away all those blocks and no SPPs for PK. Good. <laughs> Don't need anybody getting more SPP versus me. There we go. Zombie goes to 23, no problem. So only made six AV breaks. And it was really a 2 0 win, right? Made a lot of AV breaks, the Camry, but. Which is surprising because they weren't pomming a lot. It's like pommings count double for AV breaks. So they didn't make a lot of AV breaks, but just didn't get forward enough. Didn't get forward enough on the quick score attempt. And then didn't get forward at all in the second drive. Uh, really had to get his team together. Didn't didn't get his team together like he like he had to. Um, so there you go. Anyway, so hopefully you know. Hopefully, if Riley or Konami watches, you know he can take away things like diagonal blocking, uh, blocking with your blockers first, or three dice blocks first. Don't don't ever two dice block straight forward with a tomb guardian. That is that is terrible, as Artemis would say. Like it kind of is terrible, right? It kind of is terrible. It's it's interesting where you draw the line on what's bad and good and average and everything but like you know i think beyond beyond being like you know a, a passing interest in blood bowl i think you know three dice with a tomb guardian with blockless tomb guardian i think that's i think that is you know something you've got to really try and maximize as much as possible you you, you only have three rerolls you've got to you've got to make these three d's you've got to think about diagonal blocks for more for more follow-up blocks You've got to think about making three Ds with your mummies and two Ds with your mighty like with your block guys, right? If you can make, they've both got mighty blow. It doesn't matter that he's you know he's strength five and it's two dice. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And sorry, congratulations PK eighty three, who I shall now face in the uh, where is it the uh, quarter final PK eighty three, also from Division One. Uh, one of the last holdouts, right? Uh, both from Division One, myself and PK, Elliot or uh, Elliot or King Boo will will be through. So we're guaranteed, and um, we'll have, we will be guaranteed one Division One f coach in the the one semi final. Maybe we'll get, um, you know, maybe Elliot will be able to dispatch King Boo and Hancock, but and to get any other one, we don't know yet. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.